Thanks, uh, Lisa. And Jerry kind of hinted at this earlier, and you're probably wondering, well, how do I uh, make a donation over a computer screen when I'm really not uh, connected at all to this uh, panel other than uh, watching it on my screen? And we know that embedded buttons uh, don't really uh, work in this kind of scenario. Um, what we've done, and uh, this is where Jerry said, I think it's going to be a first, is enabled a QR code, which is tied to the ability to be able to make a donation to support Xander uh, in this wish and support Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, if For those of you who know how to use QR codes, uh, you're probably going to, uh, well, some of you may already be a step or two ahead of me. Uh, but uh, for those of you that don't, uh, not to worry, I'm going to kind of walk you through the whole process. And uh, what's, I think, kind of unique about this is this is going to be the launch of click to pay And we invite all Summit participants, uh, including the panel, if you're interested, I'm going to do one myself, uh, to be able to make one of these uh, donations to support uh, Xander and Make-A-Wish. So uh, for those of you that haven't used a QR code before, I invite you to pull out your uh, mobile phone. I think we probably, most of us have them handy. Uh, those of you that are watching this panel on mobile may not be able to do this. Uh, but those of you that have your phone next to your desktop, it should work uh, uh, fairly well. So if you open up your camera, and this works on either uh, an iPhone or on recent models of uh, Android, and if you focus your camera, don't press take a picture, just focus it on the QR code. I know that certainly on my uh, Safari browser, I don't know if you can see that, uh, but that it opens up a queue uh, to be able to uh, uh, open a website or from a QR code. Uh, that is the link uh, over to uh, the e-transfer facility. So uh, those of you that have gone through that, you may be looking now at the Interact e-transfer uh, gateway page. Uh, from that, I expect many of you kind of know how this process works already. Uh, I'll just describe what you see on the gateway page. Uh, you see a request from Make-A-Wish uh, Foundation uh, and the information about the biller. Uh, and in the message, some details about what the uh, text message, or pardon me, what the request money transaction is for. Uh, if you uh, select your bank, so I'm going to select mine, not going to say who it is, uh, and uh, open the mobile app, uh, it takes me immediately over using Face ID uh, over to my banking app. And now I'm going to blow who it is because you're going to be able to see. Uh, you can see the amount of the transaction uh, directly from within the uh, mobile banking interface. Uh, so I'm going to uh, select my account uh, from which I want to make this donation and click the next button and then just uh, accept the uh, payment request. And uh, and yes, my um, money has been sent. So uh, and Make-A-Wish has received uh, $5 uh, by virtue of this QR code. Uh, 